everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy, and if you're new, then welcome. Um, today I'm gonna to be doing a thrift haul. Well, I guess it's a yard sale haul. So this was last weekend, Friday and Saturday, and um, got a lot of goodies. So we're starting to look like hoarders again. <laughs> Anyways, let me start off with this box over here. So this was one of the yard sales we went to and what I got was this box. The box is in really rough shape, but what they are are jewel brights and the ornaments themselves are in really good condition. I don't know if I want to take them out of the box, but um, I'll take them out so you can see. They all have like little flowers inside. So they're really pretty. And it's funny because when I was at the yard sale, um, it was kind of towards the end of the day, on, I think it was Saturday. And there was another lady and she was just kept, she was like right behind me, you know, watching what I was doing. And um, so I picked this up and I said, well, how many are these? And the lady behind me, the customer, was like, oh, those are very expensive. Those are vintage and they're worth a lot of money. And I'm like trying to say, oh, all right, already just stay back, lady. They were a dollar, so I got those for a dollar. And I also got a box of um, wooden ornaments. They're just like a whole, there's a little baggie here. And it's just miscellaneous. I don't think there's anything super old in there, except for these. I thought these are really cool. They're like little plastic. I hope you can see those. I just thought those are really cute. They look pretty old. There's no markings on them. They could be Taiwan or Hong Kong. I'm not sure. But those are good for craft projects or assemblages, which one of these days I will do. And at that same yard sale, I, there was a box. She had a box of linens that I was going through them and I kept saying, well, how much is this? How much is that? And finally she said, you know, just, you could have the whole box for $5. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, there's a lot of doilies in here. I'm not gonna show you all of them, but I'll show you a few. That one's really pretty. It's a lot of crocheted vintage doilies. Um, there's two of these. I have one of them in my St. Patrick's display already. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of go through these really quick. There's two of these. These are the ones that were in good condition. There were some that were not in such good condition. So those I just set aside. But there was a lot that were. And I thought that was a good price. My husband, of course, didn't because he's super cheap. So he thought that um, I paid too much. <laughs> I said, are you kidding me? I said, I think one Dorney is probably worth five bucks. So this one did have a hole in the middle. It was looked like a cigarette burn, but I did fix it with some um, embroidery thread, so you can't really tell. And anyway, so there's a lot. There's a lot of doilies. Like I said, I'm not going to go through all of them, but there was a lot of them. Some really pretty ones for spring. So um, there was this little. I guess it's. Um, cross stitch and it says as you go through life take take the time to smell the flowers I have to wash that some of these I've washed already but I didn't wash that one yet this is a vintage tablecloth really good condition it does have um, I think it has a few light stains in it but it's not too bad, so I'm going to try to wash it and get the stains out. And that'll probably be for sale on either Instagram or on my Poshmark closet. And I'll try to put the links down below. And if there's anything you see that you're interested in, um, you could always send me a DM on Instagram at Picasso Cat. And um, you can maybe work out a deal. There was this one, um, this is another tablecloth, a Christmas tablecloth. It's pretty big. I don't know how vintage it is. 
the fabric doesn't feel like it's not thick like these other vintage cloths um, it could be something that somebody made you know they bought the fabric at the store because it almost looks like that fabric where they have like the little um, animals and, and such that you cut out and stuff it's that kind of fabric but I think I'm gonna keep this because I think it'll be big enough for my dining room table so that will be a keeper and then um, this table runner is beautiful look at how pretty this is it's so pretty and I might keep this one too because I think it would be nice if you have like a white tablecloth and then put this over it for the spring it's just so pretty and it's this one no stains no holes it's like in perfect condition and it is that thicker linen fabric so I'm keeping that one this is really wild this is um, a curtain but look at this pattern I just thought it was kind of cool this is one panel there's two of them like this but look at this it's got strawberries roosters a teapot an apple um, a poodle look at the poodle on there I mean it just crazy crazy but I thought it was neat and if somebody didn't want to use it as a curtain I think it would be really cool pillows don't you super bright it reminds me of the 60s or the 70s so that'll go for sale then there was just this um, plain pink tablecloth heavy fabric another tablecloth I'm not going to open them all up and then this um, it's like a wool blanket but it does have some issues on it there's it's kind of tattered on the bottom but it feels like wool there's no moth holes on it but that would be nice for pillows or cut it up and make a smaller blanket or even like a doggy blanket so that's for that box let me get some of this stuff out of the way okay and the next yard sale everything was I think a quarter that I picked up so um, I got this little journal and there is some writing in there but all the pages are blank and I like these I just like these to keep notes so that's for myself for a quarter and then um, I think this was separate I bought this by itself and just little teeny tiny clothespins and uh, they're really good for craft projects I like these to pin like cards on garland for the holidays that was so 25 cents and then this bag of ribbon all kinds of ribbon and googly eyes and I mean who can't use googly eyes right so that's was that yard sale so a whole 75 cents spent there and then with this other one with this lady she had a bunch of stuffed animals and tons and tons of toys a lot of them were weren't anything special but look at this guy I thought he was really cool and he's from Harry and the Hendersons and it's uh, 1990 I thought he was really neat so he'll be for sale and then also um, I think I paid I think it was five dollars pretty sure it was five dollars and she goes oh I'll throw in a stuffed animal too or whatever you want so I didn't see any stuffed animals that I wanted but um, I got this bag of little little toys. I don't even know what, why or what I'll do with it. And then she gave me a pair of Converse sneakers that um, I'll keep for myself. I just have to sterilize them and wash them. 
And um, there was a couple other items I got from her. Let's see what I did with it. Oh. Okay, here they are. So it was just a little, um, a little McDonald's figure. It's a little Furby's, or a Furby, I should say. That's in the package. And then these little um, wood burned light switch covers. I don't know if you can see it. This one has a little, um, I think it's a rabbit. And this looks like a little doll girl with her teddy bear. So that was from her. I got this for, um, I think it was a dollar. Measuring cup, old Tupperware measuring cup. I used to have one, or my mother had one years ago. So I got that. My husband bought these two little um, Raggedy Ann and Andy prints. He has to reframe them because the, the frame that it came in were in really rough shape. And he thought he was going to be able to fix them and paint them, but he can't. So we got these and they were, um, it was a dollar for the set. So for any Raggedy Ann and Andy fans, those will be available for sale once he gets them framed up again. I got this little turtle, and it's a turtle trinket box. It's really cute. And it opens up like that. I think that was 50 cents, I can't remember. But it does have one little rhinestone missing. And I don't know, you can, can't see it, but it's down here is a little rhinestone that is missing. And I don't know if that happened when I washed them. Because I always get that toothbrush and I start scrubbing and I don't know. I was trying to be careful, but so he does have a missing rhinestone, but you can hardly tell. I think I got this for a quarter. It's just a little bracelet with an elephant on it. Cute. I don't know if I'll keep it or give it to my granddaughter. Uh, this is, I got this where I got the measuring cup. And this was in a free box, and it's a Firestone little bowl. I think I have a cup that will go with this. So we got that for free. And then I went to this one yard sale, and I got this really weird, I don't even know what it is. And the only reason I got it is because I thought it was really strange and different. <clears throat> but it's this little guy, and she said it's a felt doll. So I don't know if somebody made him, you know, like a homemade project, but he's really weird. Um, he has a hypodermic needle. He has, I don't know what that thing is, almost looks like a thermometer in one hand. His glasses. He's really creepy. He's kind of really creepy looking. Look at that face. But I just thought it was so different. And she's like, oh, I don't know what to, I don't know, she'll make me an offer. I said, well, 50 cents. <laughs> she goes, okay, sold. So I got him for 50 cents. So somebody might like him. He's kind of weird. And I also got from that yard sale, these little bunnies. This was 75 cents. Look at how cute they are in a basket. Really cute. And that was made by... M. Takai, T-A-K-A-I, and it's uh, made in Japan. And then look at this. I thought this was just super adorable. It's a little dog in a basket. And this just has a, a number on it, AT11. He's perfect condition, no chips or cracks, and just, just adorable. So stinking cute. And then in the basket, too. I thought it was so sweet. Who doesn't like a puppy in a basket, right? So that was him. And is that all I got from him? Yes, okay. So I got those three items. 
And then up the street, another yard sale. I got this green dish. I wish I would have gotten before I decorated for St. Patrick's Day because it would have been perfect. But it has like a swirl pattern on the bottom underneath. It's kind of heavy. It's got a lot of weight to it. There's no markings on it that I can see. Just completely flat on the bottom. But I just thought it was just a beautiful emerald green color and just so pretty. So pretty. So I'll probably sell that. And I also, at that same place, <laughs> I couldn't help resist this guy. Look at that. One of those bobblehead dogs. And he's a flocked, flocked dog. Probably plastic. And um, a lot of people used to put him on their dashboards back in the day. But look how cute he is. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I love the way his little head goes. Look at that. Hope you can see that but he was so cute I couldn't leave him behind and look at this these are the most darling oh my god so precious <sighs> and I think I'm keeping these I can't let these go these are Joseph originals they're little bunnies oh my gosh they're little tiny bunnies look how small they are so there's one. They all have little red, well, two of them have little red ribbons around their necks. Look at that. Oh my God. She's got like little Easter eggs, I think. Oh no. She's eating like a radish. How cute. Or it could be a carrot, but it looks like it's red. Radish or a carrot. And then this little guy here. Keeping those for sure. <laughs> those are just amazing. And you think those are cute. Wait till you see this next thing I got. Oh my God. This one I about died. And I think, oh, by the way, I think I paid a total of, I think maybe five or six dollars for that, for all of those. One, two, three. I think the bunnies were three dollars. The dog was a dollar. And this might have been two dollars. I don't know. I can't remember. But it was it was a good deal. But look at this. This oh, and also because I forget. Um, where I got the turtle, I also got this lemon, a glass lemon. And this was I think uh, fifty cents, either fifty cents or a dollar. But it's glass, it's really cool. No chips or cracks, awesome little thing. Okay, but look at this. I was going through this little box at this um, yard sale. Oh my gosh, you will not believe it. And I was just kind of saying, oh, how much is this? How much? And then finally she said too, she said, you can have the whole box for a dollar. I said, oh, okay, that sounds cool. So, look at this little elf. This is my favorite of everything. He is so tiny. He's a little knee hugger. Look at how little he is. Made in Japan. Perfect condition. He's so crispy and new. He's like new. He's like brand new. And look at that little face. Oh my God. That is just, oh my God. I'm just so, so cute. So much in love with that guy. And that's not it. Look at this. Still in the bag. Still in the stinking bag. Can you believe it? Oh my God. And this was from uh, Kmart and it was originally 37 cents. I can't even tell you what they're worth now. But oh my God. I don't think I could give her up. She's got little wings. She's got a halo. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I mean, I kind of, I want to keep her and I want to take her out of the bag, but I don't know. I don't know. What should I do? Should I keep her in the bag or should I take her out of the bag? I mean, she's sealed. Oh my God, perfect condition. I don't know. But anyways, um, also in that box was just some little thing. Look at this little elf guy. This is like a package topper. And I think it was made in Hong Kong. I have a little snowman similar to that. 
I thought it was so cute. And there's a bunch of these little um, gold labels or little, um, I don't know what you call these. They're great for craft projects. They're all embossed and they're like gold foil. So there's a whole bunch of them along with this guy. This were, these were all in this little box. Um, a little flocked Santa. He's made in China, so he's not that old, but he's still cute, and I'm keeping him. I have a hard time selling um, holiday stuff, especially Christmas. Oh, it's so hard to let go of those, just so hard. So I will keep them. I might sell some of the bunnies, but I don't know. And then there was a lot of these old foil. You could tell they're old just because of the hangers. The hangers are really oldies. So there's a bunch of these little foil ornaments in here. Quite a few. And then there's um, ah, this little plastic uh, pine cone and cherry thing. And a thing of buttons. There's some like odds and ends. That was only the only really cool stuff in here. Most of it is just, um, I don't know. That, you know, there's some little wooden ornaments. And then, um, I think I paid, I thought I got something else from her, but I don't remember what. So I think altogether I paid two, I thought I paid 250. So I don't know. Hmm. I don't know where it is, but I also got this little owl ornament. I think it was a quarter or, or 50 cents, I don't remember. And it came in this little bag. So that was that yard sale. I feel like I'm missing something, because I know I got something else there, but I can't remember what it was. Because so I think I paid, um, I thought I paid $2. Or maybe it was a dollar fifty. Oh, it must have been a dollar fifty. So this was fifty cents, and the box was a dollar. So oh my gosh! I mean, just those, just these two items. Oh, holy smokes! Oh, and we got there kind of late, so I can't even imagine what she had earlier. But yeah, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles, right? Okay, and then I got this at another yard sale. These were all yard sales. And this is a vase, and it's made in Mexico. It has a price tag of $20 on it. Now, somebody can tell me, I don't know if this is considered Tanala or Tanala. I'm not sure, because I don't know if these glaze painted, it is hand painted with sunflowers. And it has like a really dark cobalt blue um, glaze underneath. It's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, perfect condition. But I don't know if this is considered Tanala. So, like I said, if you know, let me know in the comments down below. And, see, we're almost done. Okay, so the last yard sale I went, everything was um, half price of what they were marked. So I got all these little, um, Lacy doilies. I thought they were just so pretty. I might keep some and sell some. I'm not sure what I'll do with them, but they're pretty. If you know, if you want to sew them on like pillowcases or I don't know, there's you know craft projects you could do with those. And I think that was a dollar. And then I bought these um, these Avon items. So this is a, a creamer. It's a little bunny. I just love this set. I have some other pieces. So this one was 50 cents. There's, that was the creamer. And then um, the sugar bowl, which is was also 50 cents. I think last week I bought um, salt and pepper shakers from that same lady, but they weren't half price. This time they were, oh wow, she put everything in bubble wrap. That was kind of nice. So there's a sugar bowl. I like Avon items. I know some people don't, 
but I just love them. And I love this series here with these little bunnies. It's one of my favorites from Avon. And then there were some uh, candlesticks holders. And those were also 50 cents each. And I think there's two of those. At least I hope there is. There's two of those. And like I said, they're all in really good condition. I don't see anything wrong with them. She had this cute little poodle. And he's, uh, oh, I thought it was redware, but it's not. Um, let me see if it says anything on the bottom. What is it? Oh, it's a gobel. Gobel. Made in Germany. It's a little poodle. Isn't he cute? that one and I think I have one more I wasn't gonna get this one but then I thought uh, it's a little bit bigger than the other guys so one more bunny and I thought he would be cute with like a little egg in there or with little jelly beans so there's that one and I may keep him, I don't know. I'll probably sell the candlestick holders. I might, I'll probably sell the creamer and sugar bowl. But this guy, I think I might keep. I don't know. So I think that was everything. I'll probably find something after I stop this video. There's another doily. So um, I'm pretty sure that was all that we, we got. So. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. Tell me what your favorite item was. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video.